Now, new details about a Southington man suspected of shooting at several buildings Sunday night and then leading police on a chase through multiple towns before they eventually arrested him on the Irrigoni Bridge. Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro was joining us live at the Southington Police Department with more details this morning. Yeah, good morning, guys, and we do have some breaking news at this point because Southington Police now telling us they are investigating a seventh location in town that has been tied to all of this, and we do have the name of that location at this point. That would be the Palumbo Service Center on the Meriden Waterbury Turnpike. That is where more bullet holes were found by officers. Now, the motive behind all of this is still unclear, still a lot of questions about that, but police also telling us that all these locations were targeted and connected to the suspect. Take a listen. Of all the locations, there is some connection to the suspect. Um, however, uh, I guess the positive side to that is that this isn't random. He is he's singling out. He singled out people that he knew for some connection. The connection is not the same in all locations. I did inquire on that. Um, some are just connections. He's been in town for a long time, so the connection is not 100% in regards to why he did it. And take a look at this because we do have a map of those six shooting locations that police told us about yesterday. The six that we know about included four occupied residences, a doctor's office and an empty church. Fortunately, though, nobody was hurt at any of those locations. And again, now we've got that additional location not on this map at the service center, which police say was empty. No one was hurt there either, which is some good news. Now, at the center of all of this, is the suspect, 74-year-old Douglas Floyd Golnick. Now, police also telling us Golnick may be a suspect in a church shooting in Cromwell, as well as a shooting in Bristol. And police caught up with Golnick Sunday night at the medical offices on Meriden Avenue after getting an alarm call reporting a glass break at that location. And the officer setting up a perimeter then heard shots being fired before Golnick started to drive away from the scene. And that is when that big chase ensued and it ended with the crash on the Aragoni Bridge in Middletown, where Golnick was taken into custody. Police say Golnick was then taken to the hospital for evaluation. Take a listen. He was not injured as a result of the crash, so his evaluation is not a medical evaluation at this time. Um, we have officers at the hospital with him at this time, um, pending his being released um, once he's seen. And as of that last update from police this morning, Golnick is still in the hospital at this point being evaluated with the police officer there present as well. He is going to be charged for a few of those incidents as a few more are underway and additional charges should be pending and coming as well. But for now, reporting live in Southington, I'm Angelo Bavar, Fox 61 News.